We're going to create a real-time pipeline from Kafka into MemSQL today. MemSQL's pipeline feature allow us to ingest data really, really quickly so that we can power our real-time dashboards. We've created a Helios cluster previously in the managed cloud, and so we're going to log into the customer portal, open up MemSQL Studio. We'll take a look at the database that we've built previously that we'll ingest data into, and then we're going to create a new pipeline. We'll debug that pipeline and look at the pipeline details in the various views inside MemSQL Studio. So let's dig in. So I've gone to portal.memsql.com. It'll ask us to log in. I'll go to my clusters, and here's our MemSQL Helios cluster. Open up MemSQL Studio. Log into our cluster, and we're ready to go. Now, cruising down this list of pages, we see the pipelines view. Right now, we don't have any pipelines, so this view is empty. I'm going to click on SQL Editor, and we'll take a look at the Twitter pipeline database. The Twitter pipeline database has a single table. It's called Tweets. And here's the fields inside that tweets table. I'm going to use that database. And let's create a pipeline. Now, this pipeline very specifically pulls from a hosted Kafka instance. And now we've got our pipeline created. I'm going to test that pipeline by grabbing the first Kafka message. Now, it's not actually going to stick this message into the table, but it will validate that this process will work correctly. We pulled that data out of Kafka, and we're able to process that message correctly. So let's start the pipeline. Now, we're going to run it in the foreground in this case, and we're only going to limit it to one batch. So because we're only running one batch, now we get to see if any problems happen. Maybe we're hitting nulls in our data we'll get to get a feel for how this pipeline is going to run. So we've got now 4 million rows imported into our database in one, one spot. Let's look at the rows there. Here's the data that we've got back from that service. That's perfect. And so let's start this pipeline. Now, this pipeline is going to run in the background from now on. We can look here over at pipelines, and we'll see that that pipeline is running. No failed batches. That's good. Back here in the SQL editor, let's take a look at the information schema to look at the pipeline's batches summary. This will show us all of the batches that we've run. The last one was batch ID 15, and it's currently in progress, and it started right now. So we got to look at pipelines coming from Kafka. In our Helios cluster, we have a table that imports this data into. We created a pipeline that pulled these messages off of uh, Kafka. We took a look at the various views inside of SQL Studio showing us the pipeline details. And now we're able to ingest that Kafka data really, really quickly into MemSQL.